Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats with Gourmet Quilter. We're doing a series, several series in 2020. We're doing this particular series is all about uh, cats. We're doing cat appliques. So we're doing 20 different cat block appliques and we are up to um, cat applique number 12. So there is a pattern. There's more information on the website on gourmetquilter.com. There's a pattern with all the shapes ready for tracing if you're interested in getting that. And the, the pieces are numbered so that we know more or less which order they go in place in. So for the cats, I've been marking their faces using some permanent marking pens on fabric, the Micron Pigma pens. And sometimes I'm giving them little white dots on their eyes just for a little bit of a twinkle in their eye. Sometimes I need to mark some lines for sewing, in which case I'm just using a regular, either a pencil or a, a this has got a yellow lead in it ready for, for marking things. So this time we're going to get started with the cat face. Now this, this particular cat, he's kind of got his back towards us, but he's turning his head back looking at us. So we need to pop his face down underneath um, the body. So what I've done here is, because he's also fairly symmetrical in his body, is I've just finger pressed a line up the center of the block to help with positioning. And I can pop this on, but I think I'm going to do the head first only. So I can, between his feet there, and just sort of hold that. So that's really just sitting there at the moment. I'm not ready to fuse that on yet, because I think I'm just going to work on the face only. Sometimes I do that when there's details and things to be done, because it's easier. And so the face is going to sit in behind there, so that he looks like he's kind of cheekily looking back at us. And because of that, Rather than trying to do whiskers and th half whiskers and things, I'm going to just do the face first and then I'll come back and iron the other bits on when I've got that on. So I'm going to do his head and whiskers and then we'll add his body. So I'm just putting a piece of uh, just a co cotton batting behind as a stabiliser because I'm going to free motion stitch. And I'm all set up for the free motioning here. So we don't even really need to go all the way around the head because that's kind of underneath. The body came over the, that lower part of the head there. So we'll get this bit done. Sometimes you can just applicate, and you can do it all in one go, but sometimes it's easier when there's a bit of detail to do it this way. And so I think I'm going to do those whiskers now too, so that whatever shows, as far as the whiskers are concerned, is whatever shows, rather than trying to just do little bits here and there. I'll do the whiskers on the other side as well. off. Now I'll bring the iron back and we'll position those other parts now. So we've got this body, I can still just see my finger press line and it just kind of crosses through the lower part of his nose so you can see some one of the whiskers we don't even see but that's okay, I'd rather have it there than not, if it needed to be there. And then there's his tail to go on. It's a cheeky cat, this one. And I think that's just going to swing around so that it's around down here, a bit like that, I think. 
that looks pretty good to me. And I'll iron those in place. And then now I can go back and do the rest of the applique, which is pretty straightforward now. Um, so I think I probably would uh, maybe start, I might start with the tail, but I'll start somewhere near so that when I get back to the other end of the tail, I can go straight onto the body and come all the way around. So I think I probably would start here and come up around and then I can come down here. So we'll just get started. So somewhere near so that you can just skip on to that other cat, part of the cat. off before it gives me any trouble. So I'll just come up here and join back on and then I'm right here, I can come straight on to those cat legs. So this is all pretty straightforward now. I've just got to come around this paw and I'll come all the way up that dividing line and back down again and finish around. So I'll just keep going and show you when I get to the other end. So I'm just coming around that last top end of the back side of the cat. And he's standing with his back to us. I'll give him a quick press and hopefully he is looking like he should look, facing the wrong way but looking back anyway. A cheeky cat. So that was cat applique number 12 and we've got still got a few more to go so I'll see you again with cat applique number 13.